Okay, so they did it. The Titans kill off all the demons by wiping out Winterset Earlham. Now, Lewis Central, Southwest Iowa, is on the board. But it doesn't end there, does it? Next up, the Class 2A semifinals. Number two, LC lays its season on the line against one tough bunch from Waverly Shell Rock. Now, the seventh ranked Gohawks have already knocked off number three, North Scott, two to zip. And the Rock, making its 11th trip to state, lost in the finals just two years ago. And defense. Did somebody say defense? The Titans go against the Gohawks team that's racked up 13 shutouts, allowed just six goals all season. On offense, the Rock, five corner kicks, five near misses. LC counters, through balls in the first half. Kaylee Putnam long lead pass to Kelsey McSorley. So close, but so far. Punch, counter punch, the Gohawks send it in. Keeper Natalie Patton makes the play. The Titans, over the top. But the Shell Rock back line is there. Each team a reflection of the other. Scoreless at the break. Second half more the same. The second ranked team in the state outshoots the Rock 12 to nine, stretches to make the save. Still scoreless. Keep battling every one of you. 20 minutes. Now we know why you don't want to battle. Let's get this done within that time. Time running out. And then with just 11 minutes to go in regulation, Lewis Central on the attack. Alyssa Palm Ranky to Kelsey McSorley. The junior, her 17th goal of the season and fourth in two days. One to zip, LC. But the Hawks keep coming. Another corner and another near miss. And then... <laughs> Lewis Central outguts Waverly Shell Rock 1-0. The Titans are off to the finals for the first time in school history. Wow! The right word to use. Um, we knew coming into this one that it was going to be a high intensity type effort from the from the other team, which they didn't disappoint in that area. I'm, I'm proud of the girls. That's more than anything. The whole the whole group, the 24 girls who have trained hard to make our starters better. Once I got the ball, I kind of cut it back, and once I cut it back the other way, I had an open shot pretty much, and I took my opportunity. So when it went in. It was awesome. It was the best feeling ever. Once the bell went off, that it was just, it was amazing. It was, I mean, it really just was like, holy crap, it's over. We're actually heading to the championship. Do you feel like you're carrying the banner, Kaylee, for Council Bluff? Uh, yeah, for, yeah, I think it means a lot, like, for Council Bluffs teams to make it here because we can just show Des Moines that like we might be small but we're just as good as them and we can prove that tomorrow. One more, but one heck of a step today. Any message to your team on the eve of the state championship? Uh, it's going to be, let's play the way you always have. You guys have competed every match and uh, you know you have a chance for history and we've, we've stepped through two new moments of history in our area. The third one is the one we've wanted all season. Reason to cut it loose as Lewis Central nails down the first ever appearance in the girls' state soccer final by any team from Southwest Iowa. This historic journey, one match away from reaching the summit. Okay.